Hello, Story Wilson with RSW Solutions. Today you're looking at a 2008 LR3 Land Rover vehicle. Uh, the front wheel is obviously off, and this is the front right wheel well we're looking at. Uh, the vehicle is supported by jack stands in its entirety, and we're going to go over the steps to uh, depressurize the front air springs. Now, even though there's no uh, weight on the wheels here or on the front suspension, the air springs still can still uh, hold a considerable amount of pressure. And if you're going to work on the air spring, we need to depressurize it. So. Uh, we have the uh, right front wheel well uh, access area open over here. We've got the panel with about maybe three or four Phillips bolts pulled off and uh, the panel's being held back and we can gain access now to the front of the bumper. The front of the bumper contains the front valve block assembly and it's easier to depressurize the system at the front valve block uh, because the top of the air spring has limited access so we can get access to the airline right here and depressurize this air spring. So we're going to go up into the wheel well area up in there and depressurize. To depressurize the front air springs it's a fairly simple procedure. The valve block is located right here. There are three plastic tabs which go into three rubber grommets on the front bumper and you can fairly easily depressurize the system with a 12 millimeter wrench and the green line uh, goes to the left front air spring and this top black line, this top black line goes to the right front air spring. This bottom black line with this white sticker is the supply line. You can see if you look at it, it actually goes to both. Uh, anyway, so to depressurize the system, it's really simple. You can just begin to crack this Voss connector gently and slowly until you begin to hear air pressure come out. As soon as you hear air pressure come out, you stop. You don't go any further. Because there we go. You can hear the air pressure coming out. And at this point, you uh, just walk away. Walk away, and in about five, ten minutes later, come back, and the air spring should be depressurized. We're going to do this exact same thing for the right front and left front air springs. Uh, like I said, you stop as soon as you hear this air pressure come out. You don't want this to forcefully rock it off or forcefully detach itself from the, from the valve block here because there's a lot of pressure in this system. So air is escaping. We walk away and let it depressurize. That's it.